Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Amy Madika. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and like. Thank you. And on this episode, it's all about um, how I pierced my nose and my ears. I was born in a Christian home where we had strict parents, where I had strict parents and also strict doctrine. I wasn't allowed to put on jewelry, makeup, go to parties or have so many friends around because my parents were too conscious about bad friends, <laughs> you know, because of their past experiences and the, their, um, yeah, the way they grew up as well. Well, uh, now I can afford um, my privacy and the little things I need to afford to live a comfortable life. I decided to give this a shot. No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> well, I've always been thinking of how it felt to to have this kind of cases. Um, in my past um, life, I've been using studs, like magnetic studs and the loop. The, the one you just hang without any piercing but this time I decided to have this piercing myself and experience the pain and how it felt at this I, I just felt I have just one life and I just wanted to experience it and know how you know um, it's it feels to you know switch up earrings or switch up jewelries and just have everything on. so I got a gun a um, piercing gun it's which came with studs um, the gun is so high effective and yeah it's it can cause pain but at least it helps if you don't have to induce pain on yourself and you just know that you just have to pull pull the top and you know press the um whatever you call it it just gets the job done and that was what i did but i made sure i sterilized i got my vodka which has about um 40 percent 42 percent if i'm correct or not and i use that um and i got my for my first aid box my cutting pad
felt um, slight pain while I did it and this place I didn't put a stopper because I wasn't able to put like it was very tiny stopper was very tiny so I had to like do this again and I had to get the uh, recommended um, stopper for this kind of earring or this kind of ring oh well I had to do it again which I didn't film um, the store that I had um, didn't come with a very um, white stopper it came with a plastic stopper and it was really hard for me to put it under so after two days I woke up and it was gone like it's removed and the um, hole was still very new so it was like a wound and I wasn't comfortable putting it back just to prevent infection and the rest so all I did was I gave myself a few days for my nose to heal because this side was swollen but after um, about three days I did it on Saturday then on Thursday night, I decided to pierce this side and I decided to pierce this part because I just didn't want it to be close to my nose bridge because of pain and well, my nose structure, this side is fat so I know that if I am to pierce this side it's going to be hard for me to put the stopper in or from underneath, it's going to be very hard so I did it here and geez, while putting the stopper, that was like Piercing it was not so painful, right? I bled a bit, but putting the stopper inside, that was <laughs> that was crazy. But I knew that I just had to do it, or it's not it's not going to stay. So, well, I'm giving myself a few weeks to heal, and let me know how. Um, because I know that I'm still going to convert it to the really tiny nose nose stud. Well. That's all about it. Now I'm a grown, grown ass girl. I get to make decisions for myself, and I feel that it's empowering if I if I get to to put to just wear something like something appealing, right? And it makes me feel um, feminine, more of like feminine energy and the rest. So I kind of like this idea. I'm gonna put link um, in my description box. That's from the store where I got it on Jumia. You know, so that you can cop yours and feel good. Thank you.